Hey wonderful people, my name is Saddam Qasim and in this video I'm gonna show you how we can put a button in the header area. So this is one of the demo website and I'm going to put a button just next to this menu area. So let's get started. Firstly we need to go back onto the WordPress dashboard and we have to install the Elementor Pro plugin. So go onto the plugins area then go on to this add new option and I have already bought the Elementor Pro plugin so we just need to upload it from here. Then we can go on to the browse. So this is the Elementor Pro plugin that I have already purchased. It will be available in .zip format. Then we can simply open it, install and we can activate this plugin. If you don't have this Elementor Pro plugin, then you can simply go on to a website which is wpscratch.com. So on this website, you will be finding all the premium themes and plugins at up to 90% discounted price. So in the search box, you can search for E-L-E-M-E-N-T-O-R that is Elementor. And this is the premium version Elementor Pro page builder. It hardly costs around $10 on this website. But if you will go on to the original website of Elementor, you will be finding it for just $49 for one year. So I think that is too expensive. You can buy it from here. Just go on add to cart, download this plugin from this website, and then you can upload it into your WordPress site. So here the plugin is already installed. Let's click on activate plugin. Okay. So the Elementor Pro page builder has successfully been activated. After activating the Elementor Pro page builder, on the left hand side, you will be finding two extra options that is Elementor and Templates. So just hover on Templates and you will be finding Theme Builder under it. Just click on it. Now at the very top, you can see this Add New button. Just click on it and this pop-up comes up. So from this drop down, you have to select the header and in the Name Template box, you have to enter My Custom Header. You can give any name, this is just for your reference. And then after click on create template, so the Elementor page builder will be loaded. Now close this pop-up. Okay. And then we have to click on this plus icon and take this first one column section. So it appears over here. Then again, take inner section. So here we can find the inner section. Just drop it inside this outer section. Right now we have two columns over here. Just add one more column. So put your mouse on this icon, right click and then add new column. So we have total three columns. In the first column, we'll be putting the logo. In the second column or in the middle one, we'll be putting the navigation menu. And in the last column, we'll be displaying the button. So first of all, let's go ahead and we can set the appropriate width. So I'm setting 15% for the logo and then next last 20% for the third column and the middle one is of 65%. So firstly, let's go on to the first column, click on this plus, and here we have this site logo widget, just drop it. So whatever the logo we have set up in the customization option, that logo will automatically appear over here. Now next thing, in the middle one, we have to click on this plus, and then we have this navigation menu widget, just drop it in the middle column, okay? And from this left drop down, you have to select the main menu because this is the main menu that we have already created in the website. After that, you will be finding this alignment option. So make sure it should be center. Okay. So we have set up the logo as well as the menu. It's time to put the button in the last column. So just click on this plus and we have this button widget over here. Just drop it inside it. Okay. And firstly, we can align it to center. Now we have all these settings open. If you cannot find the settings of this button, then you can simply put your mouse on the button. Then right click on this pencil icon, click on edit button and all these settings will be opened over here. So we have total three tabs available content, style and advanced. In the content, we'll be putting all the content about the button, like what text we would like to put on the button. So let's say we can type over here, sign up. Now in this box, we have to pass the link. So let's say you are redirecting people onto the Facebook page when someone click on this button. Okay. So we can type over here, Facebook link or whatever the link you would like to put in this button, just type it over here. And from here, we can specify the size of this button. So right now it is a small, we can make it medium or large or extra large. So I think medium looks fine. Okay. Now let's jump onto the style tab. And from here, we can change the background color of this button. So here we have two states available normal state and hover state. So this is right now the normal state when we are seeing the button. But if you will select the hover state, that means when someone put the mouse on this button, then what should be the background color as well as the text color of this button. So let's go on to the normal tab. And here we have text color option, background color type, as well as background color. So from here we can select the background color. Let's make it something like orange color. Yeah, that looks better. And this is the color code. We can copy it from here. 
okay and text color should be white now let's jump onto the hover state now i would like to set when someone put mouse on this button then the background color should be black and text color should remain white so how we can do that under the hover tab here we have the color option so let's make it black so background should be black and text color should be white. Now let's test it. So I'm just putting the mouse on the button. You can see the background color has totally been changed. So this is how you can put the button in the header. If you would like to set the rounded corners of this button, then we have this border type. So here you can find out border radius, just increase all the border radius values. And you can see we have added the rounded corners to this button. At last we can click on publish now. Click on this add condition and here make sure the drop down should be include and entire site must be selected. At last click on save and close. That's all you have to do. Now let's go back onto the new tab and we can open our website and we can test if the changes have been done or not. So this is our website and you can see over here we have successfully placed this button. Let's click on this button and we can test if the Facebook page is opening or not. So you can see my Facebook page is now opening right now onto my laptop screen. So this is how we can implement the button into the header area. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and leave your positive comment if you have any questions or queries. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.